This was the last formal face-to-face -face meeting between North and South Korean officials in December 2015. The two sides discussed reunions of families separated by the Korean War and economic cooperation. Let us make a good start and open the great path to reunification. Despite the initial optimism, the talks broke down. And in the two years since, North Korea has fired more than 40 missiles and conducted three nuclear tests, severely escalating tensions on the Korean peninsula. But at the start of this year, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un unexpectedly proposed dialogue with the South. The focus of the discussions, due to take place on Tuesday at the Truce village of Panmunjom, will be on North Korea's participation in the 2008 Winter Olympics in South Korea next month and on improving inter-Korean ties. The last time North Korean athletes visited the South was for the Asian Games in 2014. Sporting events have been useful in providing diplomatic openings between the two Koreas, but ultimately led nowhere. And some analysts are skeptical of North Korea's true intentions this time. Because of the uh, effectiveness of the economic sanctions, North Korea suddenly finds the value of South Korea as an alternative source of uh, financial relief and uh, easing the tension uh, on the Korean Peninsula. As punishment for its nuclear weapons testing, North Korea has been subjected to increasingly tighter sanctions, including one that effectively slashes its petrol imports by 90 percent. But Kim has vowed to continue with this country's nuclear program, calling for the mass production and deployment of nuclear warheads and missiles. Ultimately, there is no guarantee that North Korea's peace offensive uh, will continue. North, North Korea can easily uh, make a sudden uh, change of attitude after the end of the Pyeongchang Winter Olympic Games. South Korean officials are aware of that, and President Moon Jae-in has cautioned against expecting too much from the upcoming talks. But engagement with North Korea remains the best option to easing tensions on the Korean peninsula. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Seoul.